When it comes to America's homeless problem, California's detractors have similarly offered nothing but rhetoric, moaning and casting blame. No state, by the way, has done more as California in addressing this pernicious problem of homelessness, plaguing cities and towns, not just across the state of California, but increasingly across the United States. Too many politicians for too long have ignored this problem. Let me remind you, just as an example, when I got here in 2019, there was no state homeless strategy, no state homeless plan. There was no significant investment. Sure, there was a half a billion dollar contribution one time made to local government, but there was no expectation of anything in return, accountability. Uh, there was no demonstrable results expected. When I came into office, we wanted to change that paradigm. That's why I presented a state of the state exclusively on the issue of homelessness and mental health. This was my commitment to California. We would no longer ignore this most pressing and distressing problem. Since then, by the way, we've cleared now over 9,300 dangerous encampments. And we're helping tens of thousands of people move from tents and freeway underpasses to shelter or housing. Our innovative home key program has revitalized former motels, hotels, and apartments, and provided more than 15,300 units of housing. Combined with Project Room Key, California has now provided, now provided shelter for more than 71,000 people. While the causes of homelessness are indeed complex, the solution is rather simple, housing and supportive services. Housing and supportive services. That's why we've focused our reforms specifically to address the housing needs as it relates to reforming CEQA. I've signed now 32 CEQA reforms to build more housing faster, at the same time creating more accountability by establishing a housing accountability unit to hold cities and counties accountable to following the law. Here are the results. Just in the last year or two, we've seen some 442 actions against local government, including lawsuits to compel them to follow the law. The success of accountability in the housing space is why we're adding similar accountability and oversight for homelessness. We're requiring cities now and counties to account for how they spend taxpayer dollars to get people off the streets and sidewalks, out of tents and into housing. Look, it's so long as there are people living outdoors, so long as people are suffering from bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, paranoia, self-medicating with drug or alcohol addictions, our work clearly is not done. Most importantly, though, we have created a mosaic, a mosaic of extraordinarily transformative and impactful mental health reforms. We started with a new paradigm of thinking, Care Court, a nation-leading effort that provides treatment and housing for people with the most serious untreated mental health challenges. This is critical. The, to help exhausted and financially stressed families that have been trying to help relatives, loved ones, stuck in the dark in unimaginable pain, suffering so often alone. Thanks to Susan Eggman, Tom Umberg, this program is moving out of the pilot phase. It'll be up and running in every county in the state of California by the end of this year. We also took on the difficult and politically fraught, fraught task of conservatorship reform. How many decades have we been discussing the issue of conservatorship reform, saying it was necessary but increasingly impossible to achieve. Well, we achieved it. Now, for the first time, we're helping to find meaningful solutions for families with relatives suffering from acute mental health and substance abuse disorders. Perhaps the, the steepest hill to climb was tackling the changes that were necessary as well, the Mental Health Services Act. This year, we made a dramatic shift to focus the law on those struggling the most, to shift resources to housing and supportive services. This is the biggest effort in our lifetime to combat substance abuse and mental health as well. And this is a future that was advanced because of all of you. Proposition one, it's the future that you provided us. With the support of the California voters, we were able now to build over 11,000 new beds and housing units for those with the most challenging mental illness. And we're requiring counties and cities in the state to focus existing money on housing and treatment for the toughest cases. And critically, we're guaranteeing a portion of those homes will go to veterans living on the streets, many of them suffering from PTSD.